Hi there, this video is going to quickly show you how to find the area and the perimeter of a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a shape a lot like a rectangle. The sides, these sides are the same length. These two are the same length. So let's just actually measure them right now. Let's pretend this was uh, three centimeters. That means this would also be three centimeters. And let's say this length here is like, um, let's say seven centimeters. That means this side here is also seven centimeters. And if you were asked, first of all, to find the perimeter, it would be very quick. You wouldn't really need a formula. All you would have to do is simply add up the sides. Seven plus three plus seven plus three. And if you've watched the video already that I've made on uh, the area and perimeter of a rectangle, and then we did a triangle after that, now we've moved on to the parallelogram. All you have to do is add these sides up. So the perimeter would be, you know, seven plus three plus seven plus three. That would be 20 centimeters. That would be the distance around this shape. Now the area is something where, and oh, sorry, and the perimeter, see the formula here, 2b plus 2c. That just means you really, all you have to really do is go two times well, B, they're calling the base here, I suppose, so 2 times 7 plus 2 times C is this side right here, so 2 times 3. And if you were to do that, that's 14. 14 plus 6. 14 plus 6, and you're going to get 20. Okay, that's using the formula. I often ignore the formula for perimeter with shapes that have straight lines like this. I simply just add the sides. It's just simpler. Okay, as for area, it is good to have a formula. And here's the formula. All you do, it's almost like the formula for a rectangle. You just go the base times the height. Now the height of a parallelogram is kind of like the height of a triangle where you start from the base, which is along here, along the bottom, and you draw a dotted line to the highest point of that parallelogram, or the distance between these two parallel lines. So let's say this distance here is two centimeters. Okay, so if you had to find the area of this parallelogram, all you would have to do is take the base, which is seven, and multiply that by the height, which is two. And the answer would be 14, and just like the other videos that I've just finished doing, never forget Write down the units. It could be centimeters, meters, inches. It could be feet, anything. And don't forget to put this little two right here because this little two symbolizes that we're talking about area. Okay? So that is how you find the perimeter and the area of a parallelogram. Please watch the other videos I have on this type of stuff so that you are very, very familiar with all of the the different shapes, because each shape has its own special formula, especially for area. Perimeter, not so much, until we get to circles, which is really cool. All right, we'll talk soon. Have a good day, and good luck out there.